Try to show me your fast in my knees. Large six floors. That's actually interesting. Yeah. What's up, guys? Today I'm bringing you the second part of the coaching video. So it will be from Playgrounds, and definitely, if you wanna get from the first clip to the position in the second clip, definitely keep watching the video. Like, keep watching the video, and definitely, if you enjoy it, please hit the thumbs like, and also subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. You can actually do it without the flaws, so if you want to do it without, you can just go like... Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Because I keep, yeah, you can keep just fucking with myself up. Yeah, but when I fuck myself up, then it takes all yeah, time to Yeah, then it's like it. super punishing then, because you fall all the way down. Ale jo, jde to i bez té podlahy, já nesmím být opičák. OK. So, when it comes to... Uh taking high ground and keeping it from people because you saw like we was doing it a bunch in uh, that game because we had to build up and like people was always trying to contest the best way to um do it as you heard before was doing 90s so can you actually do 90s at the moment or do you no. want me to, like right. so you start off with a ramp just like uh mm -hmm. you know as if you're gonna run up yeah. and then start um, pushing and then if you're ever gonna 90 to the right hand side you always want to hook in the left hand side of your ramp and if you're gonna 90 to the right hand side, you always hook uh, the left hand side. Then uh, you hook the right hand side mm -hmm. because if you if you don't, then you'll end up uh, flying yourself in. So it'll be like this, yeah. and uh, otherwise it won't work. So what you wanna do is uh, the bet. I'll try to teach you how to do it with flaws first because that'll be that'll make your 90s more secure. You always wanna do like a half circle with your mouse. Mm -hmm. So you place your um, ramp. And then once you do, you'll look around about here, so it's just before the uh, split, before this wall and this wall. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to do like the half circle starting from here, going up and then down. And then while you're looking down, you want to jump at the same time and place a floor and then a stair. So it'll look like this. Okay. But you do it on the edge, so when you're about 75 or 80% of the way up your ramp. So like from here, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you um, place one above and then, yeah, like that. Now, what will happen yeah. is once you get to um, that kind of area, so, you know, you, you'll come about 75% of the way up. So then you're like, high enough height to jump and then you place it around. Now, in a real 90, you'll be running and jumping. So you'll end up landing around about here. So once you land, you immediately want to look straight up. And then place the walls in like a diagonal line, so like here, here, here. Mm -hmm. Now, the the most important wall is that one, the one that I just broke. Because this one doesn't really matter, but this one does because you this is the one that you look against to place the ramp. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, you can do 90s entirely just by continuing to look down. Um, but like that's just once you get the motion down. So always make sure you're looking straight down when you're placing the. Um, the floor and the stair because uh, like a big mistake what people do is they look up quickly to place the next wall and then they accidentally floor themselves so it'll look like this no, I just yeah like yeah, I you just can see I'm kind, kind of yeah. phased there so to avoid that you basically just look down all the time so you can see I'm looking down right now like uh, at my own ramp yeah. um, you place this wall and then down and you can see that you l finished looking at this wall, which is on the downwards motion, so you'll be there, and then you just jump and place. So you can see you just keep going up and up and up. Mm -hmm. well, let me try that. They'll edit it open, 
and then they'll see that you just ramped out. So they'll go back, look up, you'll have already knighted. Their first instinct will be to try and ramp up. But since it was your box, this will be your pyramid on top. So they'll get stuck here with you looking straight down at them. Their only way out is to either crouch down at the bottom and do this, which will put them in a horrible situation. Or they can try and go for the brave play, place a wall at the side and ramp out like this. But in which case, you can see both ways, left, right and back. So you'll be able to shoot them yeah. completely. So it's, uh, it's literally a flawless escape plan that can't be countered because they can't shoot your ramp because they get stuck on the pyramid. That's why uh, I say that nine is a st like, super important as well because you can all like a 180 will take you up one layer, but doing double 90 so that you get 180s, you know, do uh, goes up too higher instead. So, all right. So if you fuck yourself over with a floor and you get trapped inside, you could immediately just edit the wall up and in front of you and just continue ramping mm -hmm. out like this. Yeah. Another thing that I really have problem with is like building so this ramp, like placing the floor. Below. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a technique that, uh, like, because I used to have problems when I was learning this, um, where you do the. Yeah. Uh, like, oh shit, like that. Uh, I had a bunch of problems while learning how to do this because, as I said before, all my keybinds are used by one finger, so when I'm having to swap between all this at once. Now, what I found was um, when you're doing the ramp push. Since uh, what you do is you look straight up from the lower, like the lower bit of the ramp, because you can see I'm only like 20% on this ramp, like uh -huh. at the bottom. So you place the ramp to start off with, and now when you just get like at the 90% or like like this bit of the ramp, you can place a floor, and then if you keep your camera angle in the same area, you can instantly swap and look the wall just placed while I'm looking at this little bit that like right below me. So if you go ramp floor wall. It'll just go like this. So ramp, floor, wall. Yeah, it's just the floor first, right? Uh, yes, yeah, so a floor and a wall. Ramp, floor, wall. Yeah. Because you can place the floor and then when you're dragging your mouse back up to place the ramp, you can then place the wall as well. Uh, situation where 90s would be thing, so like you ramping up, and then instead of having to you know do a full 180 and then go like this, mm -hmm. you can just go like um, you just do so you 90s. go up an extra layer and you can get um, a bit more protection on your sides as well. Yeah, just I've once ran to person who just told me that like this thing is actually worth it. He was doing like this. Like, is this oh, actually so worth like, it? It's like uh, waste of the materials, like, isn't it? Yeah, I would, I would actually say that's a big waste of materials. Like, uh, obviously, the, the the premise behind it, like what you like what you would be doing it for, is like smart. But then doing it in that sense, like to that extent as well, is uh, not worth it. Like the only thing you ever want to fan out like that when when you um, like you know when you spam flaws everywhere mm -hmm. to stop being able to come up. You only ever do that in, um, in the situation where, so you know, if you have high ground and someone is trying to get up like this. Now, what a lot of pros are doing nowadays is you can see when they're running up, they place a pyramid above themselves and mm -hmm. a pyramid there. You might have seen someone do it in the uh, games we were playing. Yeah. Then they edit this pyramid open and then they use this to 90 out. So what you want to do is immediately place a flat surface there so they can't edit it through and then one there one there and then one there now what these are far on the sides is what people will do if you wall them off like this they will jump out and then catch themselves on the mm -hmm. floor and then you know ramp out so the only reason you fan out like that is to stop them from being able to jump up yeah if i'm gonna start a 1v1 it's like this Uh, if we're not doing the, um, if like I'm fighting someone that doesn't do many mm -hmm. 90s, then I will only do this many. Oh, wait, I need to start from this side. So it'll look like this. You basically double 90 and then start ramping out instantly. So it's like, 
Oh shit, I actually fucked that up. Even though I did go on my thing, I still didn't place another stair, so that's unfortunate. Okay, let's reset that. See, because then not yeah. only do you have, you know, two layer height, but you see the uh, floors and the walls underneath? That stops people from being able to pyramid you. Okay, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.